All right, what's up guys? Hope everyone's doing well. Um, I just thought I'd bring you some um, a video on some beginner tips. That, um, you know, for the younger guys, the beginners, the guys that are starting out, I got a, um, uh, someone gave me a suggestion that maybe I should do a video on this. So I just came up with some tips here I wrote down. I got a few, I figure I'll give them to you for, uh, for the beginner guys, you know? So here we go. First of all, when you start out, guys, you know, always always show up neat, clean, be presentable. You know what I mean? Make sure your truck's clean if you get a truck. You know, some companies you get them right away, others you don't. Um, you know, it always makes you look good, you know, no matter who you are. You want to be clean. You don't want to show up looking like a bum. You know, don't wear sneakers. Wear your work boots, some type of work shoe, something like that. I don't know. The first time, every time I see a guy out working at sneakers the first thing i think is that he's a instant hack so don't do that because it it's not a good look all right be on time guys try to always be punctual be on time if not early ready to go especially if you're meeting someone on a job or you got to meet someone to ride with you know um you know along to go with that is you know when you're working with another guy which you will be uh, for a while don't be lazy don't be sitting around, don't be on your phone, making phone calls, taking pictures, any of that stuff. You know, always always ask what you can do. You know, be willing to go the extra mile if you gotta work late sometimes or do some real crap work. It is it is what it is. It's always gonna be that way, guys. None of us in this trade you gotta do stuff you don't wanna do. And you gotta be willing to do it because there's a lot of it in this trade that isn't fun. But it, it's gotta be done you know um also don't be afraid to ask questions ask your journeyman your boss or service manager or whoever um things you want to learn things you want to know about let them know that you're willing to learn when you're out working with a guy ask him the same thing you know i mean even if he wants you watching him what he does if, if you don't know something don't be afraid to ask questions you know ask him if you can help him out carrying things pots tools whatever you know or even volunteer at first you know, I know there's some guys in this trade that don't like to share stuff or share knowledge or anything. I don't know why, but that's the way some guys are. But hopefully you'll get with a guy that is willing to teach you. Um, be ready. Be ready for a demand. Be ready for a physical and mental demand. This job can be very physical. Sometimes it can be exhausting. Except physically and mentally, it, it's just going to be, you're going to be working in extreme conditions. Cold, heat. Extreme weather, winter, snowstorms, you know, you're out rainstorms, anything. You know, you got to be willing to work on that stuff too and be prepared for it and have the right type of equipment or safety protection, things like that. Also, you can't be, I hate to say it, but you can't be afraid of heights, guys. I don't like heights myself, but you can't be afraid to go up a ladder. A lot of this trade is up and down ladders, guys. You got to be able to do it. You know, I'll admit, I won't go up ones at a certain height if they're not, like, you know, bolted onto a building. I don't like extension ladders past, like, 40 feet. Be the first to admit, I'm not going to go up, and I don't care. And it's because I've had them blow over on me. And I've been going up one before and had a blow over while I was on it. So that's why I don't. But I don't, if something's attached to a building, I don't care if it's how high it is. Because I know I'm not going to be letting go. You know, but I've had... I've seen a guy once, he was up on, he, we, we set a six foot ladder up at this little ledge on the side of a building to get up to a little roof that was like seven feet off the ground. He got up there and he wouldn't come down. Kid's knees were knocking. The kid was scared to death to get down onto a six foot ladder and come down off like a seven foot roof. He just could have jumped off of, for crying out loud. You can't, you got to be able to deal with the ladders, guys. I know it sucks, but it, it's a big part of this business. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Yes, when you're out, when you're also when you're helping a guy or whatever, try to always think ahead. Try to think what he's gonna need next, like the next tool, or if you you're piping something, what you know, what fittings he's gonna need. Have them ready. Have them sanded. Have them ready to go. Things things like that. Try to think ahead, ahead um, to help out. Like I said, don't don't just stand there sitting around. You know, try to try to always be mindful of what's going on and what you can do next uh, let's see here 
Yes, have your own tools. You don't have to have the best tools, guys, but have your own. A lot of guys in this trade, we spend a lot of money on our tools. We don't like our tools getting lost or ruined. You know, I don't mind lending my tools to guys while I'm working with them, but I want them back and I don't want them lost and I don't want them broken. I don't want them coming back filthy. You know, you know, it takes years to build a good tool collection, this and that, but say so you don't have to have the best stuff right away, but you gotta have the basics. If you haven't seen it, check out my video. I got a video on basic tools for beginners. Another thing, going back to earlier, don't, you know, just don't refuse don't refuse to do work. You know, if you ask to do something, do it. And try not to complain about it too much. Leading into that, don't be cocky. Don't think you're better than you are because you're not. I mentioned it in other videos, you guys, you don't know nothing. I don't care what you think, you don't know anything until you've been in this trade and you've done it. You've done it and you've gone through the shit, a lot of it, and been there. You are not gonna learn until you are out doing it on your own. And just because you fix one thermostat doesn't mean every job you go to is a bad thermostat or you replace a contact or every bad job's a contactor. You see plenty of people like that too. Everywhere they go, oh yeah, it's a bad contactor. Uh, no, that's usually not the case. You gotta look into it and find out what's going on. Which that's why you always gotta be willing, you know, to learn more, ask questions, study, things like that. Be respectful to the techs you're with. The guys that are trying to teach you, your boss, your service managers, anyone. Out of anyone, always be respectful to customers. Don't be rude. Don't be a slob. Clean up your mess. Don't look like a shit bum going into someone's house or anything. You know, it, it's just basically stuff like that, guys. A lot of it's the attitude. Just be willing to learn, willing to work. Don't be cocky. Be humble. Take pride in what you do. We work hard. It's nice to take pride in what you do. And don't expect the world handed to you right away either. You're not gonna get it. It takes a while, guys. You gotta earn respect in this trade. You gotta earn it to get paid. And you gotta prove yourself. You don't just go out and change a couple compressors and think all of a sudden you're a super tech and know everything, because you don't. You may uh, you know, know something after you change like a couple hundred compressors, you know? Then maybe you might know something, okay? That's how it works. You put your time in and you do it and that's just the way it is. That's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much all I can come up with for now anyway. I'm sure I forgot plenty of things, but if any guys uh, got other stuff, you know, always put them in the comments, guys, to help out some other guys, the younger guys. That's it, but take this advice from an older guy who's been in the trade a while. I know what I'm talking about, so. Just try to try to follow those things, guys, and just have common sense. Another thing, have common sense. Don't be an idiot. God, that's one of the worst things, too. Try to think ahead and have common sense. Please, for the love of God, have common sense. <laughs> and, you know, like I said, be respectful of your tools and company vehicles, too. Keep them clean. Keep them nice. That's about it. So, going back to work tomorrow, boys. Back full time. Starting back up again. So, hope everyone else... Uh, it's doing good out there. Stay safe, boys. I'm going to catch you on the next one.